today we are going to balance an equation in acidic medium using oxidation number method. In order to balance an equation, we will need to do the following. First, determine the oxidation numbers of the elements, undergoing change in oxidation. Identify the oxidation and reduction half reaction. Identify the number of electrons needed for reduction and produce them. Balance the oxygen atoms by adding water molecules and hydrogen atoms by adding hydrogen ions if you are balancing them in an acidic medium. Add the two half reactions and then you will have the final equation. We are going to balance the following equation in acidic medium. Cr2O7 2 minus plus Fe2 plus plus H positive gives you Cr3 plus plus Fe3 plus plus H2. In order to do that, we will first determine the oxidation numbers of those elements undergoing a change. If you are not familiar with how to determine oxidation numbers, I would suggest that you watch my video on how to determine oxidation numbers. I have included the link below and also a link to the video that shows you how to determine the oxidation numbers. Once the oxidation numbers are assigned, you will see that only the following elements undergo change in oxidation. So we will focus on them. So let's look at the equation once again. Here the oxidation number of chromium is found to be plus 6, of Fe2 positive is plus 2, of Cr3 plus is plus 3, and Fe3 plus is plus 3. Once you have the oxidation numbers, you can determine which element undergoes oxidation and which element undergoes reduction. So in this case, Chromium with an oxidation number of plus 6 changes into Cr3+, plus, therefore it's undergoing reduction. Iron, Fe2+, plus, on the other hand, changes into Fe3+, plus. there is an increase in oxidation number, therefore Fe2+, plus is being oxidized. Now if you look at the equation, you will also see that there are two chromium atoms on the left, but there is only one chromium atom on the right. It is essential that you balance those elements undergoing change in oxidation even before you can start balancing an equation using redox method. So the next thing to do would be to balance chromium. So now you have two chromiums on the left and two chromiums on the right. One Fe, two plus on the left and one Fe, three plus on the right. So elements undergoing change in oxidation have been balanced. Let's move to the next stage that is using the oxidation half reaction and reduction half reaction. OHR represents oxidation half reaction and RHR represents reduction half reaction. We have two CR atoms on the left and two CR on the product side. We will calculate the oxidation number for two chromium atoms on the reactant side and the product side. Since the oxidation number of a single chromium atom is plus six and we have two chromium atoms, the total oxidation number is going to be plus 12. On the product side, we have chromium with a plus three oxidation state. And since we have two chromium atoms, the total oxidation number would be plus six. So the oxidation number decreases by six. Now to look at it in a more clearer fashion, we can write equations for this reaction. Cr with the plus six oxidation state requires three electrons to change into three plus. As you already know, reduction is gain of electrons. Therefore, one chromium requires three electrons. But in our equation, the dichromate ion has two chromiums. Hence, we will take two chromium atoms and it will require six electrons to change into two Cr3+. So for this reduction reaction, we need to provide six electrons for chromium. 
and in all redox reactions, the electrons required for reduction is produced by the oxidation half reaction. In this case, the oxidation half reaction takes place between Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus. The oxidation number changes from plus 2 in Fe2 plus to plus 3. Therefore, the oxidation number increases by one unit or we can say Fe2 plus loses one electron. We can write the equation like this. Fe2 plus gives you Fe3 plus plus one electron. But as we need six electrons, we will have to increase the number of moles of electrons. And this is by multiplying this equation by six, which means we add a coefficient of six to Fe2 plus. So this is what it means. If you have 6 moles of Fe2+, plus, it produces 6 moles of Fe3+, plus, plus 6 moles of electrons. And we need 6 moles of electrons. Therefore, the coefficient for Fe2+, plus is going to be 6. If you have a 6 in front of Fe2+, plus, we need to add a 6 in front of Fe3+, plus, which is a product. So now we have balanced the number of moles of Fe on the left and right and it produces six electrons which is required for reduction of chromium. Chromium has already been balanced so we don't have to balance it at this time. So the next thing that we can do is we can balance oxygen. So we have about seven oxygen atoms on the reactant side in the dichromate ion and therefore we need to produce seven moles of water since we only have one oxygen in one mole of water. Therefore, the coefficient for H2O is going to be 7. So now you have 7 oxygens on the product side and 7 oxygen atoms on the reactant side. Next, we will balance the hydrogen atoms in water. We have 7 times 2, 14 hydrogen atoms in water molecule. And therefore, we will need 14 hydrogen ions on the reactant side. So the coefficient of hydrogen becomes 14. So at this time we have balanced Fe with 6 on the left, 6 on the right. Hydrogen on the product side we have 7 times 2, 14 hydrogens and on the reactant side we have 14 hydrogens. Which means the equation is completely balanced now. So this is how the balanced equation looks. That's it for now. If you like the video please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.